Hey guys, this is Pramod and welcome to the Testing Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the seven patterns to identify that you need a test automation in your project. So let's get started. All right. So guys, this is the first uh, uh, the first point where you need to identify that if you are feeling bored. Uh, let me give you a simple example. The task you are doing is boring, and it is uh, basically you think that it it is very exhaustive task, and you think this can be automated or this can be easily done using certain scripts or certain scripts then you need a test automation in this in this project okay and uh, i know lots of people will say that test automation or any kind of automation testing is generally needed when we have certain regression suit and we are doing the uh, test automation because of the regression sweep that we have but i'm going to give you that uh, automation testing or test automation are different things right what you can do is that you the task that you are doing right daily you can create certain scripts so that these scripts are going to help you the manual task you are continuously doing right for example creation of your test data right it's not an automation testing it's related to test automation right and what you can do is that create certain scripts that can help you to remove uh, the boredom especially to create these kind of data manually so what you can do create the data using any kind of library like faker faker js right faker js there and uh, these scripts basically will help you to remove the uh, test data part that you have to do manually right so this is uh, this is the uh, one reason that you if you thinking about this reason means this is the boring task that definitely you need a test automation this in this case right if the task involved the multiple steps and for example let me share you a simple example uh, there was a certain task what we have to do is that manually while doing the manual testing uh, we need to create a user and after that we need to do the seven steps and the ninth step that we have to test and there will be nine ten eleven tests right the seven tests are similar and they were like uh, continuously to to reach to the ninth test case test scenario 10th or 11th test case right so what we can do is that you can if you uh, have like for example we had these kind of uh, scenarios for more than 40 or 30 cases right so every time we have to do the seven important multiple steps every time right so what we then what we have done is that we have created certain scripts and that uh, that in a test or uh, that basically was helping us to uh, remove the manual efforts right so that's how you can uh, basically uh, get to know about it that if this manual text steps are repetitive then definitely you need a test automation in this project all right and this is the third part which is like a important one is that if it is taking time consuming task then definitely you need an auto test automation in your project lots of people are just doing manual efforts manual efforts manual efforts and not paying attention to that whatever there are there are few tasks definitely there will be a few tasks that can be automated and it will take a very small investment to do those automation and it, it will give you great gain at the end right you need to identify that thing right repetition this is important one that i have previously previously discussed if if there's a particular task that you have to do daily weekly and even uh, quarterly like most of the time for example there are certain builds that you need to run right you need a test automation in this project this is the way or a pattern to identify that you need a test automation right if there is a particular regression suit that you always execute especially as a manual you need a test automation in this project cool the la important one the fifth point is that increasing load but it's the same work this is the same uh this is one of the interesting example the example here is that uh the load is increasing means the ta the task is tasks are going to increase but they ha they are very similar one and you are doing it manually most of the time you need test automation in this case right you have to identify and this is the concept of mind guys you need to identify the scenarios which can be automated easily using the tools there are like multiple tools available especially related to automation right you can leverage those tools you can learn python or similar kind of script languages which can do this task very efficiently and without any errors right that's what the main point here 
if the sixth important point here is that if you think it can be easily done with the scripts do it and you need automation okay uh, let me tell you this example for example i was creating a test data using manually using the certain kind of logic and manually right then i th uh, thought about it that this task can be done using any kind of library available online and certain automation by running certain scripts, small scripts of python right so what i did is that i created a small script that was going to generate the test data specially for the uh, next part or the project right so that was the aha moment for me right so if you think it can be easily done with the scripts the unit or test automation and these the task that you are doing can be done using the test automation right the seven important point guys this is important one and i would like to pay very much attention to this is that if you do this task daily weekly and you have to do it without fail you need test automation in this project lots of people are afraid to invest test automation in the project but guys you need to understand as a automation engineer with more than seven years that people will say you that don't do automation just go with the manual testing but the small investment especially related to creating the scripts creating a certain automation framework this will have a large impact in the long run so if the project is a long run project and uh, these are the project which will definitely going to run for 2 3 years then you need automation in this case right so that was all about it and uh, let me go back to my first one that was all about it and this is how you identify the patterns that you need a test automation in your uh, project all right i hope you have find any uh, find certain value in this one and this was a particular thought that i would like to basically uh, share with you and if you have any kind of question let me know in the comment and uh, we'll see you in the next video